Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, prepare because this will be the biggest robber of the century. Let's go for 12 cards, that should be enough to, you know, start good gameplay. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Love here and today you will be witness to some amazing Golgari gameplay and I'll tell you what you have seen in the intro is just a glimpse, there was so much more, so I think you will like it a lot. So uh, the deck is about up the beast, start drawing cards with the overlords and all the 5 and higher drops. Basically most of our cards can be played for this cost, so we get insane value from this card and if everything else fails, robbery. We also have 1 bridge the multiverse to either melee our opponent or just steal his win cons and triple Nessa is the main way we try to win the game. So Golgari fans rejoice and I know there's a lot of you on the channel and before we go into this epic gameplay a huge thank you to our absolute legend for today. Blob Zombie, the man, the myth, the legend, I should say a slaughter house legend. <laughs> really thank you man for all the support, for all the positivity and all the discussions. I'm, I'm so happy you're enjoying the Patreon and yeah enjoy your breakfast. This deck is for you, I hope you will like it and yeah that's it, let's go to the games and have some fun. With this we probably want to play Mortuary, we kinda know the... I mean, those are decent draws, man, what can I say? So we will try to ramp, and we are both trying to ramp, basically. So let's go with Cornucopia, because we can even hard cast Overlord, or just go Nessa if we feel that it's a good deal. We don't have up the Beanstalk, so our draw engine is a little bit off. And this is Trailblazer? No, Pillage the Bog. That's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. I think we actually go for this. We get more mana for the next turn, and we also force our opponent, like because he tapped, now he is forced to answer at main phase. So this will break his turn in half. He will have probably only two mana available. Yep, he can still go for this. So we will see, we will see. That is a tap land. Not extremely sure how we play this. They have Demolition Field, so I don't think this is a good draw. Like, if they didn't have it, then I would consider it. Alright, so... They might attack on the next turn, but we have Bitter Triumph. So I think we we'll play this. We go for this figure. We will hit something that is at least this figure or higher from our opponent. And then we can Bitter Triumph on 3 life against the Cottage if they try to go for it. If they go for the Tutor to kill the Planeswalker, then Nessa is, uh, like has better chance of surviving. The problem is that they didn't even need to Tutor, they just are tutoring the cards by the sheer amount, like force of will. Like, this is actually unfortunate. So my idea was that this play will happen, but thanks to, you know, Tutor. Well, I guess they don't need Tutor <laughs> if they draw like this. Alright, they make some creatures. Uh, so we have to pay life, we have to kill Ashok. It's kind of crazy that we got matched with basically the same deck as we are playing, there, but they play uh, more anti-control stuff. Alright, pillage the box. So they probably want to go another Ashok. I have zero idea why they are playing it now, uh, because I don't think it gives them an advantage, and it's always better to know exactly what your opponent is doing. However, we'll go with it. Can I cast it like this? Oh, I actually didn't expect we can. <laughs> Alright, so let's make a huge creature. A good 8-8, eight, eight, and that was the last card. Go. They need to remove Nessa, or she's taking over the game in two turns. Like, I, my hands are off keyboard. I just... What a coin! Isn't that a very interesting coincidence? Like, we literally play against the same deck. <laughs> however, however, um, we could go for Trample. I think we go like this. Oh, but oh, this is so on. All oh, right, I I wish I could turn take it off. So uh, I forgot this is a six six. Oh, this is unfortunate. The, those tokens are doing so much, man. We could give trample. How many forests we have? Four forests. So this will be an eight eight. So I mean, if we ultimate, we trade Nessas. And our board is a little bit better. We also have probably more Nessas. This sounds weird, but I think that's how it is. We can also make another creature, but if they kill it, we, we are left with nothing. Alright, I wish I didn't go for this cottage. That was a huge blunder. 
but I think no 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 we won't be able to do anything about it so they will sacrifice a 1-1 one, one. also they have demolition field wow really what okay this cannot be a good play I guess they might be sweeping on the next turn I think that that is the only thing that explains it but it's still kind of weird all right all right let's see it let's see it this is so sad i expect that they have but you I, i'm not sure man what exactly is the game plan here we still have four forests so we can go up to 13 attack with this token at some point we might go for the leaf sure man what a coincidence like look at this <laughs> just you know matchmaker is fine and here's the slasher, the first difference. Alright, this will be meaningful. We can kill Cor uh, destroy Cornucopia, but I don't think it's worth a trigger. So we'll probably keep making... Alright, this is interesting. This comes back, right? So, okay, okay, I think I know. We'll try to go with this. So we will make exactly the play our opponent was supposed to make on the last turn. And perfect, this is exactly what I hoped for. Because they think that this is a free trade. In reality, they actually lost everything and we didn't lose anything. And let's think what we want to get rid of. I don't really like Ashet here. So maybe let's go for Ashet. I'm not super sure yet. And this figure. Oh, and we live game. Why not, I guess. And now uh, they lose uh, the Slasher. I think, I think we don't need to get rid of it from the deck. I think Ashok is still more important. We could go for Edict or something, but you know. Uh, they don't play two mana, so we need to take this risk, I think. Oh my god, triple Edict. What a mad lad. What is he playing against? Because that's not mono red. <laughs> Alright. And now we can make ours. That's a 10 10. And now our cottages will start being, uh, you know, scary against Nissa. And we can even ultimate. The problem is that if we ultimate, we don't make a token, so we are falling behind on that part. They have go for the throat so they can kill the you know the attacker. They can actually hit Nessa if they tap all the mana. So that might be a bit of a problem. They are getting ahead in the Nessa Wars, but our token will always be a little bit bigger. Okay, this card will be super important. Well, here we go. However, this cannot be answered. So now that when they target it, we can draw a card. So, you know what? It's <laughs> It could be worse, I guess. It could be worse. And I will try to be defensive because we have cottages. They have demolition field, so that's a bit of a problem. You don't really want to activate it because see, you pay five mana, they pay, you know, what, like three. All right, good. Now we can draw a card. And now we will see what we get. So in a way, they wasted a card. Oh my god, the best card of the deck. Alright, that's huge. This is the card. Alright, now we need to just draw into some... Oh, but wait. There's Nessa. I mean, let's make it open. Like, this is something that will happen anyway. I still think it's worth it. They might minus, but that means they are losing the token and we already get the new card. And if we draw something uh, nice here, we can actually play it on the same turn and draw another card. So I think it's, it's just way, way too much value to pass on. Sure, that's actually even better because that means I can ramp during my turn. So if I draw something with that up the beanstalk, uh, it actually can be played. Let's go for forest. Yep, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And we have more forests now. I mean, <laughs> this is not a joke. If we hit Overlord, we can play it instantly. Oh, man. We are we are just starting right now. Okay. Okay, that was a finish. <laughs> but still, we, we have some good, uh, good value here. We cannot block. We played the Fountain Port, so we couldn't play a Swamp. And Lidiana here... Oh boy, like our Nessa will be a very small Nessa. We need some good draws here. 
I think they will mine us. I would love them to discard, man. That would be so good for us. Yep, unfortunate. But you know what? We we cannot block with it. But we can we can transform it. Yep. Please pay with the cottage. And now we can sacrifice it. Ah, you didn't get what you wanted, bro. They don't have enough for a cottage, uh, you know, themselves. They can start minusing Nissa, but they are falling behind on tokens. Oh, and now they cannot attack. And now they will be forced to trade their big stuff into our small stuff. Most likely. We just need a little bit of good draws and we can absolutely, you know, go over them. Like one overlord will swing the game in, uh, in our way. Because we'll do so many... Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. So we can kill their Nissa. I mean, I will definitely play this. Alright, so we can attack with... We can ultimate. Kill their Nissa. How many forests we have? 3, 4, 5. So it's 16, 16. I think they can actually double block it. It's not enough. I thought it would be enough. We will keep trading one for one here for a while. But we can make fish. Don't forget we are doing extra cars with this. Man, what a game, I have to say. <laughs> what a game. And we'll make a fish that also gets amplified with the ultimate. So of course we go for the bigger one. But they can trade. And we cannot sacrifice it because if we want to draw a card, then it doesn't kill their, uh, you know, their token. And this is kind of scary. It can go either way. Man, like playing another Nissa draws us so many cards. Oh, I'm so greedy. I'm doing it only to draw cards, guys. <laughs> uh, because we are kind of stuck on this one card to turn, but with this we can actually start rolling. And that might give us more overlords, so we can start playing more stuff. If I get two lands, that's really bad. Alright. We take this one. Even though it's smaller, it can act get activated again. And that is a big deal. Yeah, now we can double attack if we want, and we keep the mana for Fountain Port in case they want to remove one of them. Alright, we also have another Nissa and Overlord, so we actually out Nissa them. <laughs> like, this is the word that you probably never expected today, but here we are, here we are. What? Don't tell me they are also playing the, the Black Overlord. So they cannot go for it, which means that I'm getting more and more value with Up the Beanstalk every turn. Yep, we will cast Virtue on the next turn and start getting the value. There are some creatures. There are some creatures. <laughs> They're really thinking on this one card. What did they draw? Is that like a deadly cover-up or what? Bro. Bro, really? Well, that feels disrespectful. Like, yes, I know how to play against this. <laughs> oh man, that uh, that is... Isn't that Im impressive that we are literally playing the same cards? <laughs> this is so crazy. However, I think we're using them a little bit better. We all have things and better. this... Well, I actually want live game. Yeah, I think this is kind of the same. So th this is basically a land that you need to pay three mana once, but it live games. What? Right. This is a very interesting play. I mean, I guess it kind of works because it forces us to trade against this. And then their tokens are better, or bigger, should I say. So I guess it makes sense, but we still will, will outvalue them super hard. Here's the Overlord. I mean, uh, we definitely gain life. And we could actually go for this. How much me? We have three. Six, eight mana. We could go for Liliana and get rid of this. This is a really nice play. And we are doing two cards for two mana and also getting Liliana on top of this. So yeah, very, very good deal for us. Can you see this crazy value on our side? 
<laughs> All right, we literally didn't hit anything this turn, but that's fine. That's fine. No, that is the wrong tap. You know what? We actually well, I I want the surveillance. So let's tap correctly. Black, black, and red. That's how we do it. And now we have enough for the fountain board. So we kill this creature. This is how they hope to outvalue us. And now we can play the surveillance. So our next draw is Overlord. Alright? I mean, so far so good. <laughs> Slowly but surely we are getting extra cards every turn. You can see that playing this Overlord for literally 2 mana and drawing 2 cards with it is incredible power play. And soon we'll start getting into like directed removal, like go for the throat so we can just start trading against the tokens. And at some point we'll hit Nessa. Yeah, and if they keep any card in their hand, we can discard it. So they're kind of forced to keep using everything instantly. They drew a remove. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is not their best virtue of persistence day. That's for sure. Alright, so we draw even more cards. They can hit Nissa again with this, getting her to 1, but we actually do not care. How many cards? 28, so we need to start actually <laughs> actually trying to, you know, win the game. Let's get rid of the waste. At this point we should have decent amount of lands. Yep, getting... I wonder if they will choose Liliana or Nissa. Probably Nissa, right? She's way more annoying. Their strategy is to try to stack as much loyalty as possible on here, so those creatures will always be bigger than ours. But I mean, they still die to removal. And we can get Slasher in two turns. Alright. And we can get Slasher once, potentially. Alright. I think we go with this. This should be good enough. And we will exile something. What is the most expensive one? This? Do we have this figure? Yes. Yes, we do. All right. We draw cards. Yeah, we, like we need to uh, pressure a little bit better so we can kill Nessa and then we can close the game really quickly. Robber. Oh my God, Robber is absolutely insane. And uh, they don't have Nessa in the. You know what? They still might play another virtue. Pillage the book is extremely good draw. I don't remember how many they play. Oh, I, at the most they have one of those. Listen, I'm not sure. Uh, I will go with this one because I think we hit... Like, yeah, they actually play four virtues, which is already insane. I would love to hit Nessa. They also have deadly cover up. So that's something we need to keep in mind because Tutor is insanely good draw here. Uh, we keep Robert for later. So now we go for Overlord. I think that was also a bad tap, but it's fine. It's fine. And let's see if we play the land for the turn. Alright. Do I want to stack I actually want to stack loyalty on her. Even though we don't get the card, it's basically getting a free removal. Yeah. On the next turn we can go for insane robber and just steal their whole deck. So yeah, we actually can win on meal anyway. They top deck a, a removal instantly. Wow. Alright, that's impressive. And they actually can kill Nessa with this, I think. Man, that's how you draw in magic. <laughs> One go for, for the throat from the top, please. So they minus two with Liliana and then they attack with Cotter, so they finally uh, solved the problem with this. However, uh, there are other problems, and we are at tw 28 by the way. Yep. They are not exiling the... oh, they will go for the Overlord. Probably. Unless they think that they are the only one playing Virtue. I'm not sure if they've seen ours. They didn't see Virtue so far. All right, so, uh, but that, or I think they should go for Liliana, honestly. At this moment, Liliana is stronger because she kills this. And they took their own card. Love to hear this. All right, I think we might go for the huge robbery. Like, absolutely huge robber. They have all the deadly cover up, so we will draw one of them very easy. Yeah, I think we go with this. 
Haven't you ever heard of personal space? All right, guys, prepare. This will be <laughs> the biggest robber of the week, at least, maybe even month. All right, this is Cottage. This is not a bad card. So they will plus Liliana. We will discard probably our Virtue. I mean, yeah, I think we will discard Virtue because they have their uh, Nessa, at least for now. We all have things and I think I will actually go for all the cards, even though I could spend like save two mana and keep go for the throat against the uh, Cottage. But I'm not super sure. Oh, they're going for the Overlord. Sure, that's that's okay. That means way less pressure. So they're trying to close the game on value, but they won't uh, be able to because we have the robbery. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys, prepare because this will be the biggest robbery of the century. Let's go for 12 cards. That should be enough to, you know, start good gameplay. <laughs> 23 cards. All right. They're actually still ahead on this, but we'll get such a card advantage that we can just keep pressuring them super hard. We were all okay. So those are our cards, and this is the. Well, that's a lot of. Oh my god! There's another robbery. I don't think they have this card in the hand in the in the deck. So that means we can go for the robbery unless they go for deadly cover up. All right, guys. We need to win with this. Let's go Mirex. So they will try to demolition field maybe at some point. We go ancient cornucopia. So we can, uh, with Triple Cornucopia, we can go ultra hard on the live game and also on the mana on the next turn. And we'll probably play Shelly. This will force Liliana, sacrifice probably. We could also go Slasher. Okay, let's go Slasher actually. I should count a little bit more, but I guess we have enough for everything. And I want to cast Edict after they sacrifice Liliana, hopefully. And that means... Uh, let's let's keep the Edict. Because if we, if we use it right now, they will just get rid of Liliana, and that's not a big deal. So we want something better. We want something better. Yeah, that's it. We also have uh, Mirex, potentially. Man, this has been the wildest game of the day. Like, games of the day, century, week, or whatever. It's, it's just so good. And our opponent is already getting pressured with Shardets, and nobody, nobody likes getting pressured with Shelly. Uh, with Liliana we can answer it, but we need to be aware of the cottages, always. And we can start attacking with Slasher, so that's an easy trade. Well, I do not mind discarding a card or two. It. Probably it should be Cornucopia, but I like them way. Oh my god. They actually discarded Nissa. Man, this is crazy how similar those decks are. They actually also play multiple Nissa. Like quite a lot. So, uh, do we. Yeah, we go with Mirex, that's for sure. So we can get, you know, some extra hits here. I wonder if they are playing against uh, or around uh, our Liliana. Feels like it a little bit. All right, all right. So we probably go with Slasher here. Listen, we have so many cards that we'll just go, I think, like this. Yeah, because if we kill Liliana, we can kill the, we can kill Nissa very easy. And this should be a little bit sus for our opponent. Why we don't care about Nissa at all, especially after st stealing so many cards from them? All right. They can double block if they want to lose both creatures. I wonder how they will do it. They actually cannot activate the, the last cottage. Yep, so this one dies. We are getting a, you know, a nice advantage. And they are losing Liliana right now. I guess they could block uh, might easily. What? <laughs> All right, that's probably the last thing you wanted to, uh, to do. All right, this is perfect. This is what I hoped for in a way. So we are killing basically everything they have. We're getting this to two. We have another Minex, another Shorded. And we could even go for a Virtue. And it's actually kind of tricky to close this game. All right, they are the owner. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We have we have plenty of time, so uh, we we will definitely play Shelly. That's for sure. 
Yep, we live game. It will be like our opponent won't be able to kill us. It will be about milling. And at some point, I think we will get enough mana so we can mill everything they have. But let's keep pressuring. They only have this one cottage right now. It shouldn't matter too much, but I don't think we have mana. Like, we want to do anything else. Sure. I'm not sure why would they do it now, but we'll take it. That means we get another good target, which is nice. I didn't expect it will go so nicely. And let's play the cool cottage. Shall we? Five mana. You know what? We actually can do it. So let's go. They won't be able to exile all the cards. So we are starting to go for the onslaught. And our opponent finally broke, but I have to give it to him. Like, he kept this Nissa for a full game from start to finish. And yeah, that, that, was, that was a good game. All right, our opponent is going first and we have literally zero removal. <laughs> oh, this will go great. No Liliana, no go for the throats, no virtues, no disfigures. Uh, but we have a red deck, that's for sure. All right, cannot hit stuff anyway. So we'll try to go for survival. Man, this is an auto loss if I've seen one. <laughs> so we need to survive and I'm already, I, I already know what's going on. Uh, we might go over for, for Liliana, but at this point, like, we need some removal if you are on the draw against Monoret. Oh, have you seen this one before? I mean, you gotta admit, playing this every day for last year is, uh, is really accomplishment. So, uh, let's go with the forest and let's start with the virtue. Even though the scamp is super scary, uh, them drawing extra cards is, is even worse. So we need to work through it, but to be honest, like we whiffed so hard, we should start getting a lot of removal soon. Like we already got the, the first one and we have plenty of more. Like we have like 10 removal cards, so, you know, decent chance. We can always go with the cover up. Our opponent is considering pumping a scamp. Wow, that's that has never been done before. And you can see four cards, two mana, and they just tank for ages. Then they complain about red players. Oh, they're playing so slow. Well, not only control players, it seems. All right, so they didn't sacrifice it, so that's... Uh, I think that's okay, but they don't really get the value they want here. They get the, the token and this, and as you can see, we are getting into the sweet removal spot. Uh, they can play the cell sword. So we kind of give them the pump. That's a ley line. All right, good for them, good for them. Uh, let's kill the creature in response. It's not the biggest deal to do it now, but they already tapped for all the mana. And here we go with the good stuff. And with this, I think we should be starting to stabilize. I think we should hit Liliana with this one. Oh, this is nice. And if we can survive, I want to draw a card, so we already got good value from this, but I should hit Liliana with this. Well, unfortunate. All right, that's fine. We still cycled into a new card and we get basically two extra value. There are actually five mana value, but it will be very, very light. So they need Felonious Rage to give it haste. Otherwise, I don't, I think they are losing this game, man. Man, imagine being on the play with tier one deck and we never, we didn't even have removal in opening hand and we still won against all of this. I mean, uh, good for us, good for us. Here we go. Uh, so let's get rid of Bridge the Multiverse because it's faster. We draw a card and they will never outvalue us. So I'm actually considering the Cell Sword and the other combo is like Scamp into Felonious Rage. I think we go with the Cell Sword. This is one of the big uh, ways this deck can, uh, you know, deal insane am amount of damage. They still have the Scamp. So they kind of want... Oh, right, one damage. Impending. This has to be insanely good draw or they are out of the game. So they need to play Scamp. The best draw is Felonious Rage, probably. If they cannot do it, uh, with this, I think we will win very easily. So let's set. That should be a... yeah, this is not even an instant. So at this point they are kind of fully whiffing. Yep, minus two damage, acquired. And that means we can start pumping with overlords while also drawing cards. Like we are outvaluing them super, super hard. And at some point we'll... Oh, the, the tap. 
<laughs> oh boy, I, I should manual tap. That, that's on me. Uh, but uh, honestly, with Cornucopia, uh, it will be very easy to stabilize against their deck. That's one of the cool parts about Golgari. So they can scoop. They, they won't be able to win this, especially with this. So let's give them a good reason to scoop and wait five seconds so, you know, they have the time to concede. <laughs> All right, Monored gone. Carry on. Going first, we have a lot of black mana. So honestly, if we're against aggro, that should be really nice. But even if we're against something slower, we should be kind of okay, I think. I hope. But then, of course, those three cards won't be super relevant. Tamer. I mean, listen, that's a perfect hit. We also can ramp with Overlord on the next turn. And ramp again on the next turn. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so it started innocently, like slowly, but right now we are actually crashing this guy super hard. And there is a chance we won't be able to play the Overlord because we probably have to answer something. Yeah, that's literally what I was thinking about because turn three is the moment to play this into something. And even though it looks great for them, it's not as good. This is interesting. We probably want to kill it, right? This is what, four? We could also play Nessa with double minus, uh, but I don't think it's worth it. I guess we get another, like we get a little bit of extra value. You know what? This is a decent play just because we get it back uh, with pay ward. And I mean, that's more ramp for me. <laughs> I'll take it. And they lost the creature that really accelerates them. Man, I think they are falling more and more behind. As you can see, like in few first turns, our plays were so much better than theirs. And this is like top tier deck, man. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, especially the first game was like main dish for today. And that that was a game, man. Imagine if that was the meta and we could just have games like this over and over. Maybe not half an hour because it was close to half an hour. But, you know, just, just this archetype. Like, I really enjoyed it. And I also think that it shows some key differences because our opponent was literally playing the same deck as we are, uh, but they went with Ashok, so they actually had more Planeswalkers, which should give them more advantage. However, uh, we have shown that up the Beanstalk, together with Overlords, especially and the Robbery, are just skyrocketing us ahead. W Double Beanstalk was the reason we went so ahead, because we actually lost the Nessa Wars. Uh, Ashok making those two tokens really skyrocketed them ahead, so they could start trading in advance, basically. Also, me tapping Cottage one time was a big blunder. However, all of this did not matter, because our build was better and stronger. I honestly think that Up the Beanstalk is one of the best cards in the whole deck, and it enables you to basically play like a midrange strategy, because you are a control deck with Up the Beanstalk, because you are doing with every overlord uh, every overlord uh, the green one <laughs> uh, creates more mana so you can use it for robbery bridge the multiverse or nissa and nissa is really good here because she's a five drop she's a six okay she's a six drop and she's a seven drop you actually can play her at different stages of the game uh, depending of how desperate you are and of course the best value is for seven and instantly you get an eight eight protecting Nyssa. Like, this is a really big deal, and from my experience, somehow Nyssa usually carries the game. You have seen, I couldn't remove my opponent's Nyssa, and they couldn't remove mine for, like, 10 or 15 turns. Somehow Nyssa always ends like this, especially that we still play Liliana of the Veil, so we can, you know, get uh, this uh, Planeswalker bait, and then when the Planeswalkers die, we can still play the Overlord, so we can play up to 5 Nyssa, which our opponent couldn't do. And yeah, I, I really liked it. Man, I went way overboard on this part i just wanted to make intro to the outro so yeah that was uh, this is just me talking about decks i like all right golgari dimir this kind of stuff always keeps me going so uh, before we go into the rest of the deck a huge thank you to our amazing patrons for supporting us on every step of this crazy journey through the standard really thank you guys and i hope you are enjoying the content and what about this deck i, I honestly like this build a lot not uh, like whenever i play a deck with the green overlord it's just 
it's just so good, man. You have so much mana to do a lot of stuff. You have uh, all of those creatures. And even though you get one ramp from this, there will be games when your opponent doesn't kill it instantly and you actually can, can start attacking with this. And when you have like two, three extra mana, suddenly up the beanstalk becomes amazing because every card you are drawing enables you to play it and draw more cards. So in the same time, you are getting more value. And that's why we have the robber. The robber is the big thing. Also, a small interaction. If you have extra mana, uh, your fountain ports can be activated multiple times a turn. Not, not each uh, fountain port, but you have three for this reason normally i would go for like two but with all of this extra mana from cornucopia and overall you actually can uh, you know uh, support basically multiples you can even go up to three fountain ports a turn and believe me against deck that doesn't have this kind of uh, power in the land base you actually get, go ahead especially if that's like a black discard or something every extra card means they are falling super behind especially that nissa keeps creating eight eights <laughs> uh, and the cool part about nissa we didn't use it during the game really uh, but minus one is a big deal right now there are so many enchantments so many artifacts and sometimes you can just play it for five mana you know minus one and that's enough because you killed some you know important enchantment and you still have a planeswalker in the board that keeps growing every turn and making creatures so i really like nessa she's super expensive but thanks to completion you can kind of buffer it and thanks to cornucopia you can life gain enough that it doesn't hurt as usual so yeah i, I i'm a fan of Golgari. what can i say <laughs> but you really need to play those robberies because without this sometimes you might not have enough win cons against like heavy control decks with robbery and all of this extra mana from Cornucopia and Overlord, you can even start making treasures. Uh, if they tap for a single moment during the whole game, you just go absolutely over the board. I know I was robbed by Golgari deck when I was playing control. Like it hurts. Like you, you want to scoop at this moment. They have like 10 of your cards and you know that your cards are awesome as a control. So yeah, I, I really like the deck. I hope you guys will as well. Uh, uh, the only uh, like consideration, I had some troubles going black over Lord, just because of how little you know creatures we are playing i tried to go for more planeswalkers but it didn't feel right i didn't want it to be a super friends deck it was supposed to be a control deck with uh, you know nissa as a win con basically and you cannot take the green avatar with overlord so that's why we only play two and the idea is a little bit different than in the, in the planeswalker decks uh, just because you want to see one of liliana's or nissa in the graveyard and then you play it unless you have up the beanstalk and you just play it to draw cards and have a five five at some point during the game and it's also a nice target for resurrection with virtue of persistence so yeah that covers everything really thank you guys for watching i hope you had a great fun and see you tomorrow